Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gregory Martin, AKA The Super Producer. Here we review movies, TV series, discuss filmmaking tips, and entertainment news. If that's something that sounds interesting to you, please don't forget to smash that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to ring that bell. It keeps you notified whenever I post a new video, and it also helps the channel grow. And with that being said, let's just jump right into today's review. And today we're reviewing the Disney Plus series the Mandalorian season two. Now, before we get started, let me give you guys a little backstory about me and my relationship with Star Wars. Now, I never reviewed season one of The Mandalorian, and part of that is I don't think I was making reviews at the time. And also, um, when I decided to finally cave in and add Disney Plus to my uh, list of subscription services the Mandalorian wasn't like the priority of, of, of reasons of why I purchased the service you know it was more so uh, I, I, I purchased it more so out of nostalgia for the 90s cartoons that I grew up watching um, and the Mandalorian was something that I figured I would watch um, eventually but it just wasn't something I was rushing to get to part of me not rushing to watch this series uh, was simply that I'm just not a, a huge Star Wars fan you know I just really never got into this the series the movie series like that I, I'm sure I've watched them I think everyone at a certain age has watched the Star Wars movies whether you like them or not I think you know you just watch them just to I guess as a movie buff you just watch them just to say at least you watch them, even though you probably don't necessarily like them. And so obviously I know, you know, the central characters of this series. Um, I know a little bit of the storylines. You know, I don't, I can't dive into the weeds like most Star Wars fans can, but at least I know what, you know, or who Yoda is or, you know, Chewbacca and, and the Mandalorian. Uh, race is in in the whole context of of the of this world, you know. And as I have access to the Disney Plus uh, library, you know, I start watching um, some of the uh, the later movies in the Star Wars canon. Uh, you know, like the um, I can't just uh, Rogue One. Um, uh, the the couple of movies with um, with Adam Driver. Um, and I have really enjoyed those Star Wars those Star Wars movies. Uh, you know, more so the standalone films. I've, I've really enjoyed it. It kind of it, it kind of put me in a place where I where I feel like I don't feel stupid for not knowing every little tidbit that's happening in the Star Wars world. That you know, at least I can grasp onto you know this particular film, and I can get the story um, from a. From a, from a standalone uh, point without having to know too much backstory about how everything fits into the greater scheme. You know, I, I felt as, as, as a consumer, I really enjoyed that about the standalone films. And then eventually I heard that's what The Mandalorian is. Um, but I really didn't believe that until I actually started watching the series. And to me, this is probably one of the best series uh, out in television currently. Um, that's excluding any genre, you know, whether it be a thriller, uh, you know, anything, anything on Netflix, Amazon Prime. This series is excellent. Like I said before, I don't proclaim to be a a Star Wars fan like that, but this series is great. Like I felt so good and I felt so happy uh, watching uh, this series. And I think that is part of the lore for this particular uh, series, The Mandalorian. You know, if you are a hardcore Star Wars fan, then you can really you know, I, I think there, they definitely have moments where you can definitely geek out. But for me, as someone who just loves to be entertained, and even though I know about this universe, I was thoroughly 
attached to it. I think that anyone who has never watched a Star Wars film, I think if you watch this series, this series will definitely make you go back and go and watch episode one, two, three, you know, uh, the, 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 uh, the episodes that were shot in the, I think the 70s or whatever. I, I think it will make you think you go, I think it will make you go back and watch those and appreciate those. Um, I know I'm going to go back myself and go watch those, those films. Um, just because I really had a great time watching this series uh, and especially the last couple of minutes of the uh, final episode of this season I think all Star Wars fans and even people who like I said who know of the series will have a little like like have a little moment uh, uh, of that last reveal I think it was really dope um, I don't recall who directed that episode um, but it was such a, a great payoff uh, for uh, this season and even the last season. This was like the perfect payoff. John Favreau, um, Kathleen Kennedy, and others deserve a lot of credit, uh, mostly Favreau, for uh, curating uh, this series. Like, I'm a big fan of John Favreau's work, uh, most of his work, um, but for me personally, I feel like excluding this series, he's had a very uh, iffy track record uh, from like um, um, Aladdin and um, the Jungle Book, um, you know, The Lion King, which was a terrible movie. I really was having my doubts, but you know, this series is definitely for me uh, in the win column for him. And I think this is something that will definitely get me back excited when I see John uh, Favreau's name come across the marquee uh, but this series is like excellently curated uh, from the on-screen talent and also the uh, behind the scene talent this series has like a who's who of like directors you know uh, Rick uh, Fumajima um, uh, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard uh, Robert Rodriguez directed the episode John Favreau obviously directed an episode um, who was directed? Um, uh, Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi. Um, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, I mean, and then the on-screen uh, talent was really good, um, uh, especially like the episodic cameos that they had. Um, they had uh, Tim Timothy uh, Oliphant uh, in one episode that he was that was really good. The opening episode. Um, they had Bill Burr. Uh, Jean Carlo Esposito, um, uh, Amy uh, Sedaris, um, and then for me, the star of the show, obviously, The Mandalorian, uh, uh, Pedro Pascal, did an excellent job of embodying the complexity of this this uh, this character, uh, The Mandalorian. Um, it, it he did. A, a, an amazing job and for me I feel like he is one of these guys ever since I've known about his work um, uh, from Narcos um, everything I've seen him in uh, uh, since then he has just been very excellent in. and I feel like Hollywood has been challenging him to take on these bigger roles I, I feel like you know from his role from Narcos uh, to um, him being in the um, what's that movie The Kingsman Part 2 um, you know uh, Narcos 2 uh, I've even seen him do like some independent stuff like he's and, and now being tasked with being the star of a Star Wars series I think he is doing a really great job I think he's being He's gonna be. I think he is like the next Latin uh, Latinx star that we're gonna have. And you know, for me, I would love to see him and like in a hundred, hundred fifty million dollar uh, franchise where he is like the leading man. That he just, it's his. Um, and I know Star Wars is like a, a big thing, but like uh, something outside of Star Wars, I really would be interested to see him 
to do something like that. Like I, I'm a huge fan of his, and um, I, I definitely look forward to seeing what he does next. And and all these filmmakers, all these filmmakers, everyone a part of this series did an excellent job of creating this world and and, and, a, re, and a really enjoyable um, series, uh, in my opinion. My only gripe about this series is that I wish I could have binge watched all eight episodes in one sitting um, versus having to wait two months to watch everything. But, you know, I will say there was an anticipation um, every week uh, when um, an episode would drop. So I will say that was a positive, even though I am used to and I still prefer uh, the Netflix model of putting everything out there and being able to watch everything uh, right then. But other than that, this was an excellent series and something I definitely will be sharing with my friends to make sure that they go watch this because I thought it was just really uh, enjoyable. Well, those are my thoughts on season two of The Mandalorian. Um, let me know what you guys thought of the series. Uh, down in the comment section below. I'd love to have a dialogue with you guys. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.